it's been good, aye. Um, obviously, it was a bit disappointing uh, the way that um, you know everything ended kind of so sudden uh, last season. But obviously, fortunate on my side that I could maybe make these games because it was a bit touch and go for uh, you know with my injury. Um, you know, if I was going to come back or, or not for these games. So obviously, I'm delighted to, to be back involved and to see the lads after uh, such a long time is good as well. Is it easy to pick it all back up again? Quite straightforward, you think? Yeah, aye, it should be. Mm. You know, we everybody knows the yes, the new norm nowadays. Everything that's going on, uh, new protocols and stuff. So it's good to to get back with the lads and obviously in different circumstances, but you can still you know uh, catch up with them, and it's been good. In terms of the message from the the manager this week going into this game. What's what's he said? Because if you look at the group, is it fair to say that you've got to get all three points if you're a standard chance of topping the group? I think with the the standard of player that we've got here, and mm. the, um, especially the ability that we've got in the forward areas, that we should be taking taking goals off teams. And obviously, it was disappointing not to do that uh, against Lithuania last time at home. Um, so that's definitely something we'll try and rectify. You know, this time round. Um, I think we pride ourselves on keeping clean sheets and, and not uh, conceding many goals as a team. I think Scott tries to make that message quite clear. So, you know, if we do that, we know that we've got the, the, the quality and forward areas. If we, you know, um, apply ourselves properly and, um, you know, take the chances when they come. Because, you know, we had a good few chances against uh, against them last time and we just never took them. So, you know, this time around, I think that'll be the difference with, um, with us. You mentioned, the the clean, you mentioned the clean sheets. From, from your point of view, the club form... You've not actually conceded a goal yet, really, from open play. So you must feel pretty good about the way that you're playing yourself. Yeah, I think when you get into a, a routine, in a, you know, a kind of form about, you know, giving nothing away, having that that mentality that you're you're not going to get beat, you're not going to concede concede goals. You know, it, it then comes and you get into your rhythm, and um, you know, you're quite used to. It. Obviously, you're, you're used to people this, uh, playing with the same players week in week out, and and coming here, I've not played with these boys for. You know, for almost probably eight nine months now, so it'll be uh, it'll be different. But you know, everyone knows the message that, uh, that Scott tries to put forward about you know being defensively you know stubborn. So we'll need to we'll need to carry that on, and myself as well. I'll need to carry on what we've been doing for club football you know, defensively as well. The other thing I'm going to ask is, have you got any concerns as as individuals or as a group about having to go to Lithuania? Given ever you know, <laughs> it's it's not the kind of place that many people are choosing to go to at the moment. I mean, you're obviously in a bubble, um, yeah. and the game's not going to be in front of any supporters. But is there any? Has there been any kind of special instruction given by the, the coaching staff ahead of the next few days? And I think obviously there was special instruction, as in the new protocols and stuff. But I think everybody knows that now. It's, you know, as I said, it's a new norm. So the last three, four months have been you know just learning that, and now it should come second nature to everybody. We should be in our bubble, bubble the full time, so there should be no risk there. Um, but if there is, you know, we've been we're getting tested, um, we're staying in our bubble just now. So ho- hopefully, uh, they'll touch with everything can go to plan. Right, Ryan. Um, obviously, it was a difficult season for you last year with, with injuries, but you've played every minute of uh, the six league games we have so far. I mean, how, how good from your own point of view has that been, just to get sort of settled back into you know club form and not having these sort of injury worries hanging over you? Ah, it's good. You know, when you're out for a significant, you know, period of time, um, you know, twice in the last couple of years, it, it gives you that drive to get back and playing consistent, regular football. And um, you know, that's something I've been striving for. And, and now that I've got it, I just want to maintain it. You know, we've been we've been performing well. We've got some good results. Obviously, yeah, Sunday was unfortunate, but you know, we put ourselves in a good position. You know, um, a lot better than we did last season. So hopefully, we can we can keep it going on a personal level. I can keep playing. How did you deal with that? Those layoffs. I mean, it, it sort of spell you out in your career. A lot of good things been said about you. A lot of high hopes from you know both you know Hibs fans and you obviously you're even getting into Scotland squads. I mean, to then have those kind of layoffs. How how is how hard is that for you to sort of get your head around it and deal with the mental aspect of that? It is tough. Um, you know, I think when when I got my first injury, uh, a couple of the boys that have had longer term. At the club, Dan McGregor kind of pulled me and said, "Listen, this isn't going to be easy. The first first couple of months are going to be uh, quite tough. Seeing all the boys back playing and, and realizing that you're not going to be out there for another, you know, a good part of half a year, uh, seven months, and then um, it, it's tough. I think you need to be mentally mentally stable. And the, the to be fair, at Hibs you've got a good team behind you. You know, the medical team's really good, supporting you on and off the pitch. 
and um, the boys are good as well. You know, I think the first time round was easier because I had Martin Boyle beside me, which everybody probably knows. They'll keep you on, keep you on your toes. And <laughs> second time around, you, you you're kind of used to used to the whole, um, you know, the whole side of it. You know, mental side, and and you just, you just got to get your head around it. So I, I think I think I did well quite well. You know, I came back in good shape. Um, now this time round, and I, I think I'm, I'm as fit as I've ever been, and I'm, I'm good to go again. We also know about your your relationship with Andy Murray and the sort of management thing that he's doing for you. I mean, him, how, how much contact did you have with him? Obviously, he's got his own sort of injury battles, but you know he, he's now the verge where he hopes he's, he's sort of back from that, put them behind him. Is, you know, we see somebody that you can tap into through that, or was he busy with his own sort of stuff that he was going through? No, so I think everybody when uh, you know the whole lockdown thing, everyone needs to kind of take care of themselves first and foremost, and. But you know that he was there's someone that's always asked me, you know, how my injury's going. If I'm kind of keeping on top of you, are you doing your rehab? Are you doing your prehab? Can can ask me what I'm doing, how how it's feeling. Uh, he's someone that's seen it all. You know, when it comes to the injury side of things, being you know down and out, written off, saying that you're never going to play again, to then coming back and, and playing in major tournaments and stuff. So, you know, it's someone you've got to take inspiration from, and um, someone that you know, if, if you can tap in and get anything, you know, as you said from him, then it's almost a benefit. Do you watch his documentary? Because like- you saw the sort of pits that he went to at his time off. I mean, obviously his injuries were probably most significant your own, in your own, but can you sort of have a sort of you know, a sympathy and, and, and you know, an understanding of what he's going through and, and those sort of things? I, I, obviously, I do know how it feels sometimes, but the injuries that he's went through have obviously been a lot more, as you said, significant. And um, if, if anybody that's watched the documentary, you can see that the, the level, the mental state he's in, it's just... It is elite, you know, it's elite performers that can drive and a lot of people would give up, you know, a lot of normal people would give up, but he's the kind of person that, you know, he doesn't know what that means. So, um, as I said before, the inspiration's there and, and the fact that he's in my corner, it just makes it, you know, that whole lot better. Thanks, Ryan. You mentioned... Sorry, you um, go, go on, Ryan. Because, Ryan, because you've had a, a taste of being in and around the, the senior squad at the tail end of last year, how much has that experience sort of inspired you to, you know, keep working and obviously make your way back into that? Uh, exactly. I've, um, when I got a taste for that, um, you know, I think I went back to Hibs and I said to all the boys that it's just the standard, the, the standard, the level you need to be at. You know, it was a bit of an eye opener, and um, it kind of made me, you know, desperate to get that again and go. Like I think everybody says that when they international football, everyone's at it because they're trying to impress the manager. But it's, the standard of player was was ridiculous and. I want to, that's something I want. That's something I think you need to, to get to that level is play beside these kind of players and if I can do anything to, to get back up there. Well. You obviously know there's plenty of Premier League quality players in there, but even at that, did it still shock you, the, the standard that these guys were at in training? I think, it, maybe they shocked me, it just took me by a wee bit by surprise that these players are um, you know, at that level every single day, you know, on and off the park, the professionalism, the, the standard that they're training at is... It's something that I've not seen before. You know, that's no disrespect to anybody at Hibs, but I think everybody will agree that the Premier League standard is just miles, you know, miles better than than what you know, what you've got in Scotland. So that's something that I obviously aspire to, to, to play beside. And out of the guys, you know, you've obviously played a, a lot of times for the under twenty ones. Is there plenty of guys in that under twenty one setup that you know you can see going up to that level in the future? Hopefully, I. I mean, you've got you know a lot of. Uh, players that are playing regularly and consistently well in the in this squad now, you know, got an experienced group at uh, at twenty ones level, and hopefully we can, um, well, hopefully everybody can just kick on now and and you'll try and get up to that level. I know one guy that you're going to be playing again with uh, next week is Ross McCrory. Um, I know that the move to Hibs didn't quite work out. Yeah, we a bit disappointed that that he's not become a teammate at club level as well. Ah, of course, because he got man of the match the other day in his class. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, nah, I mean Ross is a good player and uh, he's someone that I like playing against whether uh, playing with sort of um, you know at club level and uh, it would have been great but obviously it didn't, it didn't work out but I'm, I'm fortunate enough that I'll get to play with him international so you know hopefully we can uh, we can take you know, we're both kind of started well with the season so hopefully we can take that into the, uh, the game next week Cheers just you, you mentioned there the emphasis under Scott Gemmell on uh, keeping clean sheets, and I think just looking at the table there, just you've only conceded two goals there from five games. How much does it help you, Ryan, if you've got the same um, defensive partners? Uh, I, I think 
if that you get into a, a regular back four or back three, um, you, you can kind of get you know familiar with what people's habits are, what people are doing again. But you know, I've played with these boys at the twenty ones for the last uh, you know three four years, and I'm used to the, uh, used to everything they do. And uh, playing you know uh, uh, alongside them and against them, you know, in the league, you, you kind of you know what they do as well. So I mean, it shouldn't it shouldn't uh, influence it that much. I think you know, good defenders should be able to. Uh, should be able to go and do and do their job, depending on doesn't matter who they're playing with or against. So I mean, obviously it influences a little bit, but not too much. And it looks as if uh, this has got nothing uh, nil nil written all over it. Just obviously from the the last game, but just uh, Lithuania don't look to be uh, high scorers either. Do you think it's worth Scotland um, gambling a wee bit to try and get the three points for this one? I don't, I don't think we need to gamble it. Um, you know. We've got the quality of players to, to be beating them, um, anybody in the, in the in our group. You know we're confident. Uh, it doesn't matter who we're playing against. You know you can throw big names at us like the Croatia, Czech Republic. Obviously they're good quality teams, but you know we know what we've got in here, and we've we've got a winning mentality and a mentality that you know we want to try and then use taking forward and, and get three points, whether that's playing against Croatia, Czech Republic, or or Lithuania next week. Thanks. Top man. Cheers. Thank you, Ryan. Thank you. Good luck. Cheers, right. later. Thanks for that, guys. Just uh, let me know if you've got any issues and hopefully that all came out for you. We'll see you later. Thank, Thank you. Michael. Michael. Cheers. See you later. Michael, are you wanting us to send you the training as well? Or have you got a camera there? Uh, yeah, if you could send us it, that would be great. Right. Yeah, is, is it just going to be Ivan that's there? Is he the only oh, one that's going right. to be there? All right. I'll, I'll, we transfer it on to you as well, all right? All right. Great. Thank you. New baller. Cheers. See you later, guys. Thank see you later. later.